Hey guys, Bill coming back at you again with another video. Today I'm going to be harvesting my two plants outside. And we'll also take a look at the sea of green and see how it's doing. Okay guys, so uh, I have a couple of plants. I've shown them a couple times on the channel, not very much. But these are two Cafe Racer clones that uh, I didn't really know what to do with. I had a couple extras and uh, after giving away a bunch to my friends I had these couple left decided to throw them in the ground beside the shed here and just kind of let them go never really fed them much of anything the ground is pretty fertile anyway because it's where I usually have my vegetable garden so there's compost and manure and and, and all that in it anyway these turned out great so let's take a look at them okay guys there they are I was just checking in on them yesterday and uh, I thought I'd need another week or so but after checking the trichomes, all the trichomes are cloudy, uh, just a just a tiny touch of amber there, and that's good enough. That they're coming down at this point. Now these didn't have near the uh, problems I had with the greenhouse grow, uh, no powdery mildew. I did notice yesterday we have this little bit of bud rot here. Uh, there's a little bit there and i think i see a little bit in there but besides that the rest of these colas look really good so i'm gonna go ahead and take them down today i mean these things are these things are beautiful and i tried to give these clones away couldn't find anybody to take them so yeah i just planted them here beside the shed so we have uh, two plants here the stalks look really good now i just gotta a new little puppy and I see she decided she was gonna dig a little bit around the base of that one so we'll have to do a little training on her hey Jess you got anything to say to my viewers huh huh you got anything to say huh oh, you're such a good little girl you're such a cute little girl yeah this is Jazz this is my new member of my family She's a Roddy, Roddy Bull Mastiff American Bulldog mix. Uh, She's going to be a big girl. But yeah, these are these are about seven feet tall. These tallest colas here. Uh, really dense. Super covered in trichomes. And uh, just overall, just beautiful, beautiful growth on these. Now, the only training I did, these were monster crop clones. These were taken early in flower. Uh, so we can see down here where it's split off four different ways on this one and this four different ways on this one here too so uh, they've all grown up and filled in I did a little lollipop just to keep everything away from the ground and that's it so what I'm gonna do guys is I'm going to put you up on the tripod and uh, we're gonna start taking these girls down okay so we're gonna start off with uh, some of these top ones here and we're going to take them down a pretty good size chunks take off a few of these uh, bigger fan leaves here Okay, so that's not all of them by any means, but take a look at that. That is beautiful. I don't know how close I can, I don't know how close I can get before it'll start getting blurry. But uh, yeah, she is super frosty. And uh, I mean, super dense too, really dense buds. All right. So that's one one top we're gonna hang that just up here and grab another one I'll grab this back one here all 
Okay, so so this one here is the one, if you can see right in there, it's a little bit of bud rot right there. That's the only spot on this cola. So I'm going to uh, just go off to the side here and cut that out. So the bud rot was only on a part of the bud, but I cut the entire bud out there uh, because I don't want to take any chances of having mold spores on the rest of it. So uh, yeah, better to take off a little more than you think you should, in my opinion. And that's probably why I lost so much of my, uh, my greenhouse crop because I just, I don't want to take any chances when it comes to, uh, when it comes to mold. So even with that, even with that uh, bud cut out of there, I mean, this is still, I definitely have to have gloves on. But actually I see by turning this around after taking off some of them leaves, I don't know if you can see, but right in here, I can see a little bit more bud rot there. So we're gonna cut that whole thing right out. Okay, there's a little bit right on the right on the inside of that. Now, it wouldn't be surprised. Some of these buds on here are pretty thick and there is a possibility I could find more as we go. But uh, anyway, I'm glad this is coming down now so I don't lose any more of it. I need a glove. All right, I'm just gonna continue uh, cutting this down and then we'll see what we get out of it all together. Here's one of the lower branches. Not, not as dense, but uh, but still, still really decent. So yeah, for lower bud, I mean, that's, I'll take that any day. Got uh, a, a couple of popcorns down here. Uh, it's not even too bad, but a little bit, not much at all. I'm definitely happy with that. All right, guys, so I'm gonna continue on with this and uh, I'll come back when I'm done and we can see see the whole harvest at that point. So uh, I decided I wasn't gonna take the rest down. Some of these lower, smaller buds here. I checked them with the loop and uh, still a little bit of clear going on here. So I'm gonna let these go for another week and uh, we'll take them off at that point. And this is what we have out of the main tops here. The first few I just took off the bigger, bigger fan leaves now the other ones I uh, I did a little bit of a better trim on them I found a little bit of mold in here but not not too much at all really anyway super stoked this thing this rack now I have these just hanging on a uh, one of the web grow inserts the 24 inch inserts 
and this is heavy I wouldn't even know how many pounds it was but it's uh, it's quite heavy so it should be interesting to see how much yield we get out of that first harvest and then of course we have a second harvest next week so uh, why don't we go in now we'll go inside and check out the sea of green and see how that's making out this week okay guys so here is the sea of green just a little over four weeks in flower now about halfway and uh, she's looking she's looking really good man look at the look at the colas on these not super super duper long but they're all pretty much connected into one cola good size for four weeks by the time they swell up there's gonna be a lot of top quality bud here so overall this method is working great right now 26 plants in a four foot wide diameter pot on a turntable and they're doing so good and so easy to maintain but once every three days I'll come in and I'll feed her and I've pretty much gave up top feeding altogether now so what I do is let's see here so all I do is I uh, this little container here goes right to the bottom and uh, I just pour about between six and eight gallons down into this into this container and directly to the bottom and that's it now one day I'll uh, I'll move it up say over to that side there and then the next day I'll move it another quarter turn and the next day another quarter turn and so on um, just for the simple fact that my floor is on a bit of a slant so that uh, that seems to be working out really well now once I top once I top dress, I'll have to feed from the top for a bit to get those nutrients down into the soil. But I haven't had to top dress yet. I don't see any uh, deficiency issues yet at all. Uh, everything is beautiful colors, greens, no spots, no nothing. It's just really, really nice. Much better than, than I even expected. I wasn't quite sure how this was going to turn out. Um, but yeah, it's... It's super, super easy. As far as the mother of these ones, we come over here to the, the WebGrow individual scrogging unit. And uh, we spread her out there last week. And she's doing okay. She's not doing too bad. But not near as well as her babies. Um, she's going to have some, some, some colas on her. But they're not... I mean, take a look at these. And then look over there flip the same time can you see a difference yeah I can totally see the difference there that's just that sea of green is gonna produce probably ten times what this mother is gonna produce now the mother is being fed uh, general hydroponic maxi bloom every day to runoff and uh, I, I really do like her stock though it's pretty cool her entire lifespan so far is probably what 9 10 11 12 maybe 12 and a half weeks something like that now these guys their total lifespan is not even six weeks they were only vegged i think in total about 12 days and they're just over four weeks in flower now so yeah super super impressed with the sea of green now this is also my first time using the Mars Hydro FCE 4800 and that's, I mean, look, I don't even have to say anything. It's doing amazing. We'll see how they finish up, but uh, so far so good, doing really good. And uh, the mother, she is under the FC 4800 and I know this is a good light because I've grown with this before and uh, it always produces pretty well. Anybody that's interested in any of the Mars Hydro's products, feel free to click the link in the description and use my discount code BWARD and uh, you'll get a bit of a, a discount at checkout for that code. One thing also that I used when I was mixing up the soil was Harvest Hero Enhanced Perlite Mix. Now that really does seem to make a difference, I think. Uh, these plants are very rigid and the extra silica in it, uh, it really does help out. Now they just they shipped me another bag and I just received it yesterday which is why I mentioned it and take a look at this that is one huge bag 
of enhanced perlite mix, uh, three cubic feet. Now, if anybody is interested in purchasing some Harvest Hero enhanced perlite mix, uh, there will be a link in the description. And also, they've given me a discount code to give to you guys as well. So, And I believe they have free shipping on these three cubic foot size bags right now. Feel free to check out the link in the description, read up more about it. The silica that they incorporate directly into the Harvest Hero is, is great. I think it's a fantastic idea. Okay guys, so we got the outside mostly harvested today and also took a look at the Sea of Green, which is doing just phenomenal. Uh, it's just, it's actually, it's really blowing me away. And so simple, it's just a bag of Pro Mix with uh, a bag of kryptonite organic living soil, some Harvest Hero enhanced perlite mix for some added silica, and Gaia Green dry amendment nutrients. I mean, mix that all up, planted them, and that's it. Uh, I'm just feeding water, it's just so easy too, like crazy. And by the way, these plants, uh, the Sea of Green and the Mother, obviously, are Blackberry Kush from ilovegrowingmarijuana.com. Uh, feel free to check them out. I also have a link down there. They're going to have a good sale coming up here shortly. I'm going to be doing a few giveaways here shortly as well. We just reached 70,000 subscribers the other day, so I want to say a huge thank you to each and every one of you. I really appreciate you, and uh, I really appreciate each of you for uh, for watching, for commenting, for, for liking. It all helps the algorithm as much as it can be in a, a cannabis channel. Um, but again, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. It just blows me away. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment down below, and we'll see you on the next one. Happy growing.